What's up everybody, my name is Danelle Desume and in this video I'll be talking to you about this uh, new uh, very small device that I have in mind here. So this is the uh, wireless CarPlay for the Kama Rivero GT. So I will show you later how this works fully in the car um, and how this device may kind of like uh, save your life in terms of having the constantly connecting your phone to the USB But not that it is a bad thing. It's not that something that you can't do You can actually do that plug in your phone all the time But for some people that's looking for convenience you can actually use this device that way as soon as you walk inside of your car It automatically connects the phone to the wireless CarPlay that way You don't have to be just jumping all over the place looking for the cable um so first thing, so if you are new to this channel, just please consider subscribing. Uh, that way when I do have new videos out there and a new product that I'd like to share with you guys, so you are the first one to see it. And thank you again for watching uh, this video with me today. And uh, here it is. So this right here, this is the user manual. Um, it's uh, pretty basic. So it's got two sided. So one is in English and the other side obviously is in Chinese. Um, I know there are a lot of those devices out there, but one thing you have to keep in mind, not all of them will be compatible with the Karma. So some people have experienced glitches with, with some of the uh, CarPlay devices that they've uh, purchased from Amazon and other places and stuff like that. Um, you know, making a video about it, it's mean it actually works. So I don't really just go talk about things that don't necessarily work or if I haven't used it myself. This is the device right here. Um, as you can see right there, it's got a little light here. When the phone is connected uh, to this device, it's gonna be uh, showing up in blue. If the phone is not connected, it's gonna be uh, light up red over here. This device emits some Wi-Fi, which you can connect to your phone. This is a great device. So I recommend anybody who has a Kama Rivero GT uh, to get one. Of so in terms of cost, so this right here, probably gonna cost you roughly about 200 uh, to 250 um, so it depends on where you purchase it um, so this is pretty much I'll post a description below with a link where you can buy this for a much cheaper price and uh, yeah this is it guys so let's go ahead and uh, stake this thing in the car to see how it works so you guys can see uh, if it is something that you would want to put in your car all right guys so like I was saying earlier uh, so now we are in the car so this is my cell phone here so this is an iPhone it works just as well if you have an Android phone as uh, um, that you have an Android phone. If you do have an Android phone, you can use that as well. But it doesn't really have a criteria that you can only use an Apple phones because it's an Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So it works for both. All right. So now it's connected. Just wait for it. You should see the light. OK, so the light is red. So the phone is not connected yet. As you can see, it automatically identifies the car so it says a comma then the last number is the device number so it, it just uh, pulling that data then at that point if you have your phone it will just uh automatically connect your phone on there so this is my phone it's wireless and then this is the system it says the carplay is connected so now i can use the carplay uh you know just to listen to music or do whatever it is that i do uh with that um obviously so this is music. Yeah, so and over here you can also skip and uh, change the channel over here. So if you just click on that and you just press next it just changed the music here as well so there's it works just like you know you were using your phone or if you the phone was connected inside of the car so now let's go ahead and press the uh just gonna go ahead and press the talk button real quick mcdonald's okay here's what i found there we go so it works just as fine uh drive to orlando Getting driving directions to Orlando. And there we go. And then everything works just fine. No issue whatsoever. It's pretty smooth. Um, 
and I uh, kind of like it. So, all right, then again, thank you very much for watching. Um, really appreciate you uh, showing support. So if you are new to this channel, as always, go ahead, hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. So that way you don't miss out on any new video that I have coming out. So thank you again, guys. So I will see you on my next video. Peace.